Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to do a little comparison between the two main handheld consoles that I play right now. Uh, one is the PlayStation Vita and one is the Nintendo Switch. Now you might think that this is a little bit of a weird comparison because the PS Vita was released in 2012, that's six years ago, and Nintendo Switch was released just last year. So why are you doing this comparison? You know, one's obviously much newer and much more powerful than the other. Well, these two consoles, I actually play um, I actually play these two consoles frequently and um, I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on both of them. I actually did a comparison video between the PS Vita and the Nintendo 3DS a few years ago. And in that video, initially I said that the Nintendo 3DS had a better library of games and was uh, is more likely to get better support from uh, developers. Well. Later on, I changed my mind because I ended up playing the PS Vita a lot more than the 3DS. So not saying that the 3DS is a bad system, it has a lot of cool games and stuff, but I ended up just liking the games on the PS Vita uh, a little bit more. And um, I guess the same here, it's like, so the Nintendo Switch um, just I mean, just came out last year, but it has a few AAA titles, a few really cool multiplayer um, games that you can play with your friends. It's a really good system to have around for parties and stuff, uh, but I still find myself gravitating to the PS Vita. Um, so yeah, it might seem a little bit weird because you guys think that the PS Vita is dead and stuff, but it's not. It's still being produced and when I went to Japan a few years ago, um, a lot of stores still sold PS Vita games and there was actual, actually a lot of them still. It's still really popular in Japan and I guess that's why I like it. It just has a lot of really uh, unique Japanese games, um, games that are more out up my alley, I guess. Um, for, so the spec comparison is obviously gonna favor the Nintendo Switch. It's a lot newer. So this, the PS Vita, I have the slim version right here. The original had an OLED screen, but they both have LCD displays. The uh, resolution on this is 960 by 540, which is not quite HD, but it's not uh, not as bad as DVD quality, but it's, it's definitely, um, yeah, it's not HD quality, and this is just HD. It's 1280 by 720. And uh, this, the battery life on this thing is about four to six hours, and the Nintendo Switch is about three to six hours. So roughly almost the same, depending on which games you play. Uh, they both take game cards, and uh, they both take memory cards. But the PS Vita memory cards are a little significantly more expensive because they use proprietary uh, PS Vita memory cards. I think this is one of the main mistakes that Sony made when they made this system, was they have these proprietary PS Vita cards that are really expensive. Whereas Nintendo Switch just takes standard micro SD cards just like the Nintendo 3DS does, uh, which, is, which is better, right? Much cheaper. Another thing is, um, yeah, the PS Vita, 512 megabytes of RAM, four gigs of RAM, so obviously huge difference. Uh, graphical horsepower also a lot better on the Switch. But the Switch is also a bigger system, so this thing is more like a tablet. It's six inches. Uh, actually seven inch screen, sorry, this is a, uh, yeah, the screen is a lot bigger. This PS Vita screen is only like five inches, right? So it's a significant difference here. So when I go traveling and stuff, I would be more likely to, to put the PS Vita in my bag just because of the size difference, right? Um, that's another thing that makes me lean more towards the PS Vita. And also the ability for the Nintendo Switch to convert, I guess, into a home console, which is basically just a convenient way of having HDMI out for the system. Uh, it just docks into this station and then outputs to the TV automatically. It's really convenient. And then you can play it on your TV right where you left off. Whereas the PS Vita does not have that feature, but it does have the PlayStation TV it's not exactly the same as the uh, Switch dock because this is technically a, a different system, right? You have to uh, you have to start your you know you have to load your games onto it and your saves and stuff. So it's you don't carry off where you left off like with the Switch, but you can use the same PS Vita game cards and memory cards in here. Uh, so yeah, you can definitely play your PS Vita games on the TV, but um, it's technically a different system. So it's 
It's not exactly the same comparison, although uh, the 3DS doesn't even have a way to do that, so I guess it has a leg up on the 3DS in that sense. So yeah, um, the PS Vita versus the Nintendo Switch. The main thing is, obviously when we're looking at consoles, the main seller of consoles is the games, right? It's not necessarily the hardware. Uh, and Nintendo knows this the best because their Game Boy outsold the, outsold the Game Gear, which is more powerful, and um, the Wii outsold the PS3 and the Xbox 360, and um, you know, the 3DS outsold the PS Vita. So Nintendo probably knows this best. The games are what makes the system, are what sells the system, not necessarily the hardware. So we're going to take a look at the uh, different games on the PS Vita and Nintendo Switch, and you guys make the decision which one you want to buy, because it's not really a clear-cut thing here, right? The Nintendo Switch might be more powerful, but it's also going to be, it's also bigger, it's also more expensive, right? I do like the Nintendo Switch's ability to just, um, sw you can detach the controls, flip this open, right, and you can play with your with your friends just like this. So that's a cool ability the PS Vita doesn't have. Nintendo Switch is about $280 to $300 on online, and the PS Vita is about $200. So it is more expensive. Uh, it is a physically larger system, and you get slightly less battery life, perhaps because of the uh, increased hardware performance. But um, the games are what makes the system. So let's take a look at the games and see what you guys like. <clears throat> Nobody transformation.
All right, so those are just a few games that you can play on each console. Um, there is a good amount of support for indie games on both of these systems. Uh, I think the PS Vita does have a bit more because of its longevity. Uh, because it's, you know, it's got six years, <laughs> actually a five year head start ahead of it. But yeah, like, yeah, I mean, you can play Minecraft on both of them. You can play Undertale on both of them. Uh, there are some indie games that are exclusive on the Switch, like I showed you the Celeste. Um, Bloodstained, you can play on both of them. Um, but yeah, the PS Vita generally does have a little bit more. I mean, you can play Ter Terraria, you can play uh, Hotline Miami, a um, whole bunch of uh, different indie games, Retro City Rampage, Worms, uh, you can all play on the PS Vita. Uh, I don't think you can play this on, on the Switch yet. But um, I think in general, the Switch has the tr big AAA titles, you know, the Mario's, uh, the Zelda's, the Metroid's. Super Smash Brothers is coming out, um, Pokemon, you know, it has all those big, huge AAA titles on it. Uh, and the PS Vita is going to be more for those niche gamers that really like the Japanese RPGs, the visual novels, those kind of things, those kind of things. And I guess I'm just that kind of gamer. Like I like sitting down in bed and playing um, Muvlove Love Alternative or Steins Gate or uh, Dead or Alive Extreme 3, you know. <laughs> I'm that type of player that fulfills that niche, I guess. So for me, the PS Vita is the system I play more because it has more of the games that I like, um, and I'm more of a niche gamer. I like those, those Japanese games that I guess most people in the US don't really play as much, um, but I play a lot more because I'm an otaku. So yeah, the PS Vita is gonna be have it's going to be the system that has more of those niche Japanese games. Um, so if you like those kind of games, uh, Japanese RPGs uh, and, you know, visual novels, those kind of things, then, uh, and indie games, then the PS Vita is for you. If you like the big budget AAA titles, and, uh, I mean, the system has good support for indie games too, but it's not going to have the same kind of risque Japanese uh, sexual games like the PS Vita will have. So uh, it's more family friendly, you know, so... Uh, yeah, you'll the Nintendo Switch is definitely better for parties. I'll tell you that it's definitely better for multiplayer and parties, and uh, the graphics are you know superior. So pick your poison. Um, I think the PS Vita is yeah, it's the better console for me. Also, it's more portable and it's the one I play more just because I'm more of a niche type of gamer. And uh, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching this review. I'm not going to say one is objectively better than the other. You can decide that for yourself depending on what type of gamer you are.